largest and the most diverse learning system in the world. We have more than 50% population below 30 years. <coughs> to harness true potential of our demographic dividend, we are implementing aspirational national education policy 2020, which has brought in sweeping reforms in our education ecosystem. I had shared the concept note on this policy with Her Excellencies earlier. For centuries, education system is most of our countries in global south had suffered due to colonization. It is about time that we break out of the old mold and cater to the aspiration of our people, built on the foundational pillars of access, equity, quality and affordable and accountability. Our national education policy to create an educational system that is rooted in Indian ethos as well as aligned to the 2030 agenda for sustainable development. It aspires to develop our youth as global citizens who can find solution to global problems with values of humility and compassion. At the level of school education, early childhood care and education is being formalized. A special drive has been launched to the improve foundational literacy and numeracy and all support is being provided to differently able children. Efforts are being undertaken towards capacity building and training of teachers. Our government is running a range of schemes to improve the health and nutrition of school going girls. We have also redesigned our curriculum to make it more student centric with special emphasis to teaching and learning in mother tongue. We have brought in reforms to improve the quality of higher education by removing the rigidities of disciplines and promoting multidisciplinary. We are making our curricular more relevant to changing global requirements and providing multiple entry exit options for students to ensure flexibility in academic programs across skills and higher education. We are also developing technological infrastructure for seamlessness, integration of schools, skill and higher education. Some of this includes a national level student registry, academic bank of credit and Skill India digital portal. We are reimagining vocational education through an early exposure in middle and secondary schools through creation of skill labs and promoting industry academia linkage. Focus is being given on providing experiential learning and hands-on experience through industry relevant internship and apprenticeship aligned with the needs of the job market. We are aiming to vocational, vocationally empower at least 50% of our youth by 2025 and developing a national credit framework to facilitate a seamless movement across school skills and higher education. We have made great strides in creating digital public goods in education by leveraging the power of technology to make learning more accessible and interactive. Through multimodal delivery of education, we have democratized access to knowledge, reached more people in remote and undeserved areas. Through our PME Vidya initiative, we have effectively employed digital educational platforms and tools such as Diksha, e Parsala, and Swayam Prabha TV with more than 260 educational TV channels. We are also establishing a national digital university which will transform access to higher education drastically, reducing all direct and opportunity costs. Excellency, India believes that Mutual cooperation and exchange are strong enablers to advance education and human resource development. For this, we have entered into educational exchange programs and established joint working groups with many of our partner countries. An essential aspect of NEP 2020 is internationalization of education. NEP 2020 endeavors to promote India as a global study destination providing premium education at affordable cost. 
we have brought in regulations to allow our institutions to enter joint dual degrees and twinning arrangements with foreign higher educational institutions our top institutions such as iits are also setting up offshore campus abroad we have also recently brought out draft regulation for allowing top foreign universities to set up campuses in india as well we hope to promote active institutional linkage with our partner countries through this excellencies india has been sharing its developmental experience and capacity building expertise with over 160 countries through the itc indian technology and economic cooperation program i believe officials from your countries may have already participated in this training courses in india india remains committed to partner with the global south in efforts towards achieving the goal of universal education and human resource development in our respective countries for 21st century excellency i once again welcome you all that and look forward to your valuable ideas and initiatives